hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix marvel's spider-man remastered error the game has crashed due to using more video memory on your pc or you can also try this method if you're getting the error dxgi error device hung error on your pc when you're trying to play the spider-man and also you can use the same step in this method to work for DirectX 12 not detected ensured graphics card is not supported by DirectX 12. So for three errors you can use these steps which is going to work for you guys for sure. So uh, you can check our channel get sure tips for more videos regarding the Marvel's uh, Spider-Man remastered issue just happening right now for across the globe for many users and also you can refer our website get sure tips where I'll be providing link in the description where you can read the same article on it. So let's move to the workaround. So the first one is all about you just have to follow the instructions very carefully. And the first one is all about you have to install the graphics card manually. That is what you have to do. So if you don't know how to install a graphics card manually, as you know that we are, we are having uh, the NVIDIA GeForce as well as the AMD. So here what you have to do is I'll be giving these two links in the description. As you can see, this is for NVIDIA and this is for AMD. So for the N, uh, NVIDIA official uh, users, what they have to do is they just have to give the details over here and they just have to go for search and they have to download it. As you can see, which is around 784 MB, you just have to download it and install it. Once after successfully installing, you just have to restart your PC. And before that, make sure if you're having any kind of update, which is done a, a week ago or something, you can uninstall it. After that, go for the latest update and you have to try right and this is what you have to do because this is the latest one which is around 9 8 2022 this is uh, four to five days back which is updated so you can go for this if you are already done a manually update which is one month ago you can uninstall it and go for this one moving to the next one is with the amd you can do the same you have to select the graphics card you have to select the model and you have to go for it and you have to download and install it this is the first and basic most step which you have to try out when you are having this error. after trying this both the thing you just have to restart a pc and what you have to do is you just have to uh, open your game after that and most probably the issue will be completely fixed <coughs> sorry and this is what you have to do next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game files so as you know that uh, some of you guys keep on asking me in the comment section why you are not having the game because when i try to purchase what happens is uh, i'm not able to purchase because of some issue with my credit card as well as my debit card because i think uh, right now across india those who are having a mastercard they they are not able to do any kind of transactions because some rba guidelines and all those things because they need to update to the platinum or visa then only they can purchase it so i have contacted the bank and they will work on it so until then i can't wait because i just want to help you guys out so uh, if you ask me the question how to verify i'll show you an example with with the game which i am having i can't show with the spider-man because i'm not having the game so i'll show an example with forza horizon 5 which is having right now on my pc so uh, what i have to do is i just have to right click and go to properties navigate to local files and there is an option called verify integrity of game files so just go for it so this is very important because if you're having any corrupted files on your game this particular process will be fixing it by default and you will be good to go with the game or else you'll be having the trouble like it's keep on uh, having any kind of trouble so this is very important that you have to verify integrity of game files so you just have to wait for until it's get 100 percentage so i can't waste much time so i'll be closing this and you just have to wait and once it is done you just have to restart your pc and you have to launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed next is all about you have to update your windows to the latest version so updating the windows to the latest version just have to go over here navigate to settings go for windows update and from here you just have to go for update so here i have done an update so they're asking me to restart if i done restart we are in the middle of video so you'll be getting an update you can do it and if you're having any trouble in the update then you don't you don't have to worry we can do update using media creation tool so i'll be providing link in the description to the media creation tool for both windows 10 as well as for windows 11 for both users i'll be providing this it will be in the description so you don't have to worry those who are on the windows 10 you just have to open this particular ding and you just have to go for download now create windows installation 10 media just go for download now simultaneously if you're on windows 11 you just have to go for download now that is what you have to do and you have to install it and once after installing most probably you have to check whether you are able to fix the issue or not even after trying this if it's still not working and if you're having lots of trouble then you just have to go for the next one next one is all about those who are trying to play the game 
on xbox they just have to uh, keep in mind this particular step because you just have to go over here and you just have to go for uh, microsoft store and from here what you have to do is you just have to search for xbox accessories if you are not having xbox accessories you have to install it on your pc then you can try to play the game and most probably this will be completely fixed because you just have to search xbox then you just have to search accessories you will be getting it so from here what you have to do is you just have to install it as you can see here i have already not installed it so i just have to go for installation and i have to install it this is very important so that i ask some kind of just give all the password and you have to install it this is very important or else you'll be keep on having the trouble so make sure this is very important for those who are trying to play the game using xbox controller okay those who are trying to play with the xbox controller keep in mind this one and we have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to enable dedicated graphics card in the device manager so to do this you just have to go over here in the task manager right click and you just have to go to device manager over here at the top now from here you just have to go to display adapters as you can see you have to expand this and this is the uh, dedicated graphics card on my laptop this is nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 with max q design so i just have to right click and if it is disabled i have to enable here i am getting the disabled device option because i haven't disabled it so if it is disabled i'll be getting an option called enable so you just have to enable it once you are done with the enabling this one you just have to check whether you are able to fix the issue or not even after trying this if it's still not working for you guys then you just have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so uh, some of you guys know this step which because uh, for many users this has worked for the elden ring as well as forza horizon 5 and even even for farming simulator and all such games it helped them even the stray it helped them so i'll show you how to do this so you just have to go over here and you have to search for graphic setting so you just have to open this when you open this you will be getting an option like this okay so here i am not having the game so if you if you are having adding the game over here for the first time you just have to click on the browse option so you have to click on the browse which will take you to the where the game is installed here this directly take you to where the game is installed on my laptop so here it's on steam steam apps common forza horizon 5 but in a case it will be taken to where the spider man is installed and if it's not in that case you just have to go to where the spider man is installed you have to open for example if you go over here if you're downloading from the steam it will be all together in the folder program file 86 steam steam apps common from here you just have to open the for uh, i'll show an example with forza horizon 5 so here you just have to open the x game and you just have to go for add so right now the game is added okay now you just have to right click over here and there is an option called options so you just have to click and here as you can see the graphic preferences you can set this to let windows decide power saving and high performance so you have to set this to high performance which is very important or else you'll be having the trouble once you're done with this one you just have to close this and try to launch the game and this is very important step and this has worked for many users in the past and i'm suggesting guys you have to try this without any fail or error so next even after trying this if you are having still the issue with this we have few more solutions which are going to help you guys out which i cross checked from reddit so what i do is next is all about you have to disable full screen optimization okay you have to disable full screen optimization and if you ask me the questions and how to do this so you just have to go over here navigate to library so you as you can see these are available games right now which are on my uh, steam account so uh, for those who are having the error with spider-man i don't have the game so i'll show you an example with forza horizon 5 okay don't get confused and don't even keep on commenting on the comment section asking this guy is showing a wrong example or something i'm not having the game so i have to show you with an example i can't verbally tell so you'll be having the trouble so i'll show you an example with the game which i am having just follow the instruction that is forza horizon 5 so you just have to right click over here and click on properties right and from here just click on local files okay so here you just have to go for browse so what happens is this will directly take you to where the game is installed okay this is where the game is installed as you can see this is where the game is installed local is c and program files steam steam apps in copen a common forza horizon 5 this is where the game is installed and this is the application file so i just have to right click and i just have to go for show more options go to properties from here what i have to do is i just have to what i have to do is sorry i had a little mistake so i think uh, because of uh, this i haven't completed this okay now this is done so you just have to go to compatibility and here as you can see disable full screen optimization is not turned on right 
most probably this will be turned on in this case so what i have to do is i just have to, if it is turned on i have to in, uh, dis, uh, make it on if it is uh, not on i just have to do this and go for apply and go for okay this is what i have to do so what happens is this work for many this is very important step also so this has worked in my case and in my experience this has worked for many so i'll keep the same as it is so you just have to set this up and this is what it's all about disable full screen optimization moving to the next one is all about you have to try dxi command in the launch option so even after true i'll show you with an example of the forza horizon 5 so you just have to right click and go to properties and here you have to go for uh, over here in the general this is launch option so here you have to give a command that is uh, this one the particular command dx11 you have to give the command and you have to go back and try to launch the game this might work i don't know but i'm saying this has worked for some users not much so i'm suggesting as you can go for this and next is all about if we have a very important step that is very important so before that to do this we, we you have to know which means we are increasing the virtual memory that is the important step for that you need to know how much ram you are having so i'll go over here i'll go to settings and over here on a uh, system if you go to the system and if you go over here in the about specification as you can see my ram is 32 gb okay this is my ram so right now we know how much is my ram right so you just have to close this okay now what you have to do is just have to go over here and you have to search for view advanced system setting you just have to open this right view advanced system settings and you have to click on settings now from here what you have to do is you just have to click on advanced and you just have to click on change option so we are having this particular option okay in most cases when you're trying to place in some cases for some use this will be ticked okay this will be ticked in the sense this is given by a default value so this is a default value given by the when you tick this so you have to untick this when you tick on untick this and if you move to the custom size we can set the value so this is how only the way we can increase the virtual memory okay so here we have to give the initial size as well as the maximum size so initial size what you have to give is 1.5 times of your ram same way for the maximum size you have to give three times the ram so for that you just have to go we need a calculator so i'll go for the calculator okay so this is the calculator so we have to give the value right so we have to calculate it so here as you know that my ram is 32 gb so i have to give the initial size so what i'll do is i'll go for 32 okay 32 into i'll go for 1024 okay so this is the value 32768 is uh 32 GB in megabyte. So uh, this is what the 32,768. Okay. So now what I have to do is I just have to multiply it into 1.5. Okay. So that is 49,152. I have to give here this is as the initial size. So this is 49,152 is the initial size which I have to give which is 1.5 times the ram okay total ram so i have converted the gb into mb that is 1024 then uh, that is what i calculated and 1024 is 1 mb which is the 1 gb's value that is a basic one so here the maximum size is three times the ram so here i have to go back to the calculator once again so i have to go back to the calculator so here what i have to do is i have to give the maximum size maximum size is my ram is 32 gb into uh, 1024 that is how much 32,768 MB now I have to multiply into three times that is 98,304 I have to copy this I have to paste it okay once I'm done with pasting this I have to remove the comma then I have to go for set this okay and I have to set this up because in some cases this will work and not in some cases but for many uses this has worked and this is how you can do this up and you have to restart your pc and try to launch the game this will be worked i didn't save don't do the same you have to save because i'm not changing any configuration that's why i'm not having the RAM, uh, error because i'm having 32 gb ram and good graphics so i'm not having the error in your case you'll be having so you have to save it go for apply and try to restart your pc and launch the game even after trying with all these things and you're still fed up and you're not know how to fix this do one thing dis disconnect all multiple connections for example uh, monitors and all those things uh, <coughs> joystick if you did 
and all those things everything you know even the usb cards and all this you just un disconnect it and restart your pc only do with whatever your necessary and try to play the game and this will be worked and these are the basics trouble and how you can fix this up for all these three errors dxdi error device hong error direct x12 not detected or you are having intro graphics card support and also how to fix the game has crashed due to the using more video memory on pc on spider-man remastered and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye